Welcome to KLIM.news. I'm Christy Lee, and this is Christy Lee Independent Media. Excited to invite my newest guest on today. Dr. Jancy Chun Lindsay is the Director of Toxicology and Molecular Biology for Toxicology Support Services, LLC. She holds a doctorate in biochemistry and molecular biology from the University of Texas Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences. What is important for us to know about you and your expertise, especially concerning commentary regarding vaccines? Uh, sure. Hi, Christy. Thanks for having me on. I practiced tox toxicology for quite a few years. I'm an expert witness. I'm a consultant um, primarily in the legal arena. Uh, I do civil and criminal cases. Uh, I work all over the country. Recently, uh, with the genetic biologics or the gene therapy vaccines, I've kind of piped up as to my feelings on uh, both rushing these untested uh, vaccines out and the uh, severe side effects that we're seeing that should have stopped the campaign a long time ago if things uh, weren't corrupt, to be frank. And now you can add to your resume that you were the latest victim of censorship, most recently getting kicked off LinkedIn. Can you tell me about what that was like and the reasons given? Yeah, so I've been kicked off a couple times. I got back on again. I just, it's funny that you brought that up because I just responded to LinkedIn and they showed me the post that got me kicked off and they were essentially scientific articles that I put up on LinkedIn. Uh, which they didn't feel that I should put up there as a scientist, I guess, you know, they have their policies. And so they said that I had um, not followed their policies on misinformation. <laughs> and I, I just think that's funny because I got kicked off Facebook the last time for posting a CDC article on mm. the 14 deaths and 397 uh, cases of cardiomyopathies that they were stu studying. And I literally took a picture of the CDC page and I posted it and it was the CDC study. And I guess I was spreading misinformation by, by saying that they were doing this study. And so that got me kicked off. In April, um, you spoke to the, to the CDC and brought them your concerns. Can you tell me what that was like and where that was at? Expand on that. Yeah, so um, I was actually given a chance to speak in the public portion comment um, through a lottery type uh, deal that they have set up. Basically, I tried to whittle down into three minutes my big concerns. And, uh, you know, the first was that we knew a long time ago that the vaccines could cause uh, thrombosis, blood clotting, because of studies that were done in the fall of 2020. So I said, hey, these are going to cause blood clots. We need to stop. They are causing blood clots. Look at the huge number of, of heart attacks, strokes, uh, deep vein thrombosis, all these things associated with blood clots. We need to stop. Two, I brought up the uh, sterility problem, uh, reproductive problems, because of cross potential cross reaction to the Syncytin 1 protein that doctors Woodard and Yeadon had brought up. Then the third thing I said was there's a possibility for immune escape because of the way the vaccines are made. They're leaky, which means that you can still get, they're not a perfect, what we call a perfect vaccine. So you can still get the disease. And I said, if you could still get the disease, then essentially each person is a mini gain of function lab. When you have that level of malfeasance and corruption, you better get out there and protect your own kids because the government is not looking out for you and they're not looking out for your kids. And I have no problem saying that because that's the darn truth. I honestly believe that if, if we don't stand up now and expose this for what it is, that, that we are on the precipice of um, not only a genocide, but of completely losing our way of life. And I'll risk everything. Um, that's just not a question. I, I honestly believe that God called me to do this. Um, and so I pray about it a lot. Mm -hmm.